got a question the other day about importing in Bootstrap Studio. Um, it was from a video I did a, a while back. Anyway, um, uh, Stanley couldn't use the components and uh, so forth. So I said, if it's not PHP, um, I didn't really uh, didn't really have any answers for that. And someone else today said that you can import a website manually, but you don't have drag, uh, drop and drag functionality, and you have to record the website elsewhere. Um, and Stanley said that all the files in that were in, but he didn't have any control and he couldn't use them. Okay, so here's Bootstrap Studio blank. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a couple of files over and then this actually does have drag and drop functionality. Um, if I'm understanding this question properly. Um, so anyway, first go. Oops. I don't think that's worked. Try that uh, Try that again. Okay. Have they gone in? Yes, I think so. Yes, they have. Okay, so that's uh, that's the drag and drop. Um, the chap, the other chap, couldn't be remaining there. Uh, folders, but the folders don't go in. Um, so anyway, so what we're going to do is going to have a look at not the index.html thing there. That's Bootstrap Studio's own uh, file. So the nav by HTML, okay, and the nav.css, which is what I've put in. So okay, so what we want to do is change the components there. So if we just have a look at the CSS as well in there. So the nav CSS, okay. No, it's not coming up anyway. Try the components. Okay, so there it is. There's the actual style style there. Um, so what I want to do is change that. Okay, so you go to custom code, and we're going to edit code like I've done a million times in these videos. And there you see you can code in um, Bootstrap Studio for your own files. Uh, so you don't really need to go elsewhere for that. Okay, so. All you would have to do there is, if you want to change them, just apply. And see on CSS, you just you can use the CSS editor. So I'm going to change the color here, and I'm going to change this to a greenish type of color. Oops, that's the eight, that's a zoom thing. That was uh, sorry about that. So we we'll just change that to black. Okay. So there you see that's changed. That's my files. And I'm going to change the. Uh, uh, font color, so just color, and um, we just change that to white. Okay, so at least that bit's worked, and that's basically um, all you've done. So I'm not really too sure what the problem is, but if you know, like we can, uh, I don't like to be beat on any of these type of things. So if uh, if you know, let's go through a few things and see if we can find some solutions, and uh, you know, it could anything you know so again thanks for watching